everybody, Miss Jessie here from Little London Ballet and today we're going to be doing preschool ballet. Now everybody, it's time to do our warm up. Are you ready? Are you sitting up nice and tall? Are your toes nice and pointed? Off we go. Can you find your head? Where's your head? There it is, well done. Can you find your shoulders? There they are, well done. What about your knees? Where are your knees? Oh, they're here, well done. Can you find your elbows? Oh, that's a bit tricky, that one, isn't it? There they are. Ready? Off we go. Hands on your head, touch your nose, wiggle your fingers, point your toes, clap your hands. Are you ready? We're going to stretch up high, we stretch up high, reach down now. Small. Just waving hands. There they are. Hello, everybody. Can you find your tummy? Where's your tickly tummy? Ready, steady. Off we go. Hands on your head. Touch your nose. Wiggle your fingers. Point your toes. Clap your hands. Are you ready? We're going to stretch up high. Stretch up high. Reach down low. Curl up small. Now it's time for our next warm-up song. Are you ready? We're going to start by nodding our head. Let's get nice and warm. Can you nod your head? Well done. Are 
really nice and bouncy. Oh, well done, everybody. Good job. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having lots of fun today. I've got my magic wand. But don't worry if you don't have one. You could use a magic spoon. Maybe you could get your grown-up to help you decorate it so that you've got the most fantastic sparkly spoon in the whole world. Now, let's sprinkle some magic dust. Let's sprinkle some on our head. Where's our head? Lovely. Shall we sprinkle some on our ears? What about our shoulders? Can you sprinkle some magic dust on your arms? Fantastic. What about those magic hands? Let's sprinkle some magic dust on our tickly tummies. And on those legs. We can't forget those beautiful magic toes. Fantastic. Now, get that magic zip and zip those legs together. Zzzz. Are you sitting up nice and tall? Now, uh-oh, boys and girls, sometimes Miss Jessie's toes are very cheeky. They go, uh-oh, what do we have to say? Naughty toes. We point them down to the floor and, uh-oh, naughty toes. Shall we try it with the music? Sitting up tall, off we go. We go good toes and oh, naughty toes. Good toes and oh, uh oh, naughty toes. Good toes and oh, naughty toes. Good toes and. Oh, Naughty toes, can you show me your cross face? Ooh, those naughty toes. Let's point them down to the floor. Good toes and up. Oh, naughty toes. Good toes and uh oh. Naughty toes. Good toes and oh, naughty toes. Oh, girls and boys. Sometimes Miss Jessie's toes are very cheeky. Sometimes I have one good toe and one naughty toe. Then we swap, and we swap, and we swap, and we swap. Oh, they're very cheeky. Now, let's cross our legs. Hide your magic wand behind your back. It's time to do our head exercise. How do you say yes, please? I would love a great big birthday cake. Mmm, yes, please. Oh, how do you say no, thank you? I don't want a slimy purple birthday cake. Oh, no, thank you. Our head goes up and down and side to side. Shall we try it with the music? Sitting up nice and tall. Now, 
before we stand up, we're going to do our stretching. Can you sit with your legs like a butterfly, just like Miss Jessie? That's it. Are we ready? Let's go with the music. I think my butterfly is going to be purple and sparkly today. What colour is yours going to be? Can you make your butterfly fly? Can you make it fly like me? Well done. Can you put your nose on your toes? Oh, was it cheesy? Was it cheesy? Can you put your nose on your toes? Oh, was it cheesy? Tell you what, shall we put our nose on our toes for ten whole seconds? Are you ready? Off we go! One, two, three, four, five. Hello everybody! Are you ready to do some travelling steps? Now, this requires a little bit more space. So if you can make a space in your living room, that's brilliant. If not, don't worry, you can tiptoe round in a circle perhaps. Or you could even do some of the steps on the spot. Now, I'm very lucky. I've got quite a bit of space here. And I'm going to start by doing my tippy-toe walks. So let's find a place to start. I'm going to start over here. I've got my feet in first position and I'm going to hold my skirt. We grow up, up, up on our tippy-toes as tall as can be. Are you ready? Can you see how high my knee is? 
and I want to see a beautiful pointy toe. So we lift it up and down and up and down. We're going to practice some slow ones and then we're going to get faster. Are you ready? And up. Ooh, can you balance on one leg? Well done. And up. Ooh, balancing, don't fall over. We march, march. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe you can march fast. And then you can march around in a circle. Make sure you swing those arms in opposition. Oh, that's a big word. It's quite tricky, isn't it? You've got to lift up your knee and move the other hand. Oh, let's have another go at doing... Mm, what shall we do now? Shall we do some jumping? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's go to the corner. What likes to jump? Hmm, maybe we could be bunny rabbits. Or maybe we could be frogs jumping on lily pads. Are you ready? We're going to bend our knees and when we jump in the air we're going to stretch our toes and stretch our legs. Now remember, ballerinas do not land like elephants. No, no, no. We're going to be as quiet as can be. Are you ready? Off we go. We jump, 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 and jump. Oh, wee. oh that jumping, gosh. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for our story. Hmm, can you remember what story we've been doing? <gasps> That's right, it's Sleeping Beauty. Now, once upon a time, there was a little baby princess called Aurora. She lived with her mummy and daddy, the king and queen, in a magic castle, in a magic kingdom. And in the kingdom were three very special fairies, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather. Now, one day, the king and queen decided to throw a huge christening party for baby Aurora. The three special fairies wanted to give Aurora a present. The first fairy gave baby Aurora the gift of grace and beauty. Can you show me your beautiful faces? Lovely. Now, the second fairy wanted to give baby Aurora the gift of musicality. Oh, that's a big word, isn't it? It means she was good at singing and dancing and playing lots of lovely instruments. Do you like singing and dancing? I do. Now, the third fairy was just about to give baby Aurora her present when... <gasps> Oh no! Who arrived? Oh, it was Maleficent! Oh no! Maleficent was very cross. Mm, she stamped her feet. And she pointed at the King and Queen. She was very cross because she'd not been invited to the party. She said, I have a very special gift for Aurora. On her 16th birthday, she will prick her finger. <gasps> Oh no, that's not very nice, is it? No, oh dear, the king and queen were very sad. <gasps> and they sent Aurora to live with the fairies in the fairy cottage so they could keep her safe. <gasps> Aurora grew from a baby to a child to a teenager. And on her 16th birthday, she was out dancing in the woods with all the lovely animals when she saw... <gasps> Prince. He was riding on his horse and he told Aurora that his name was Prince Philip and that Aurora was the kindest and most beautiful girl he had ever met. <gasps> Aurora ran home to tell the fairies and when she got back they had made the most enormous chocolate birthday cake. Mmm yum! Shall we make a chocolate? Stir it up. That's it. Oh, shall we add some sprinkles and sparkles and a little bit of fairy magic? Oh, beautiful. Now, the fairies.
fairies told Aurora that Aurora was a princess and that because it was her 16th birthday, it was time for her to go back to the castle to see her mummy and daddy, the king and queen. Oh, Aurora was so excited, but, uh-oh, Maleficent had other ideas. Oh, she lured poor Aurora into a magic room where there were lots and lots of spinning wheels. Oh, Aurora reached to touch the spinning wheel and pricked her finger. Ow, ow, ow. But it was a magic spinning wheel and Aurora fell fast asleep. But Aurora didn't fall asleep for a normal amount of time, no. She fell asleep for 100 years. Wow, that's a long time, isn't it, boys and girls? Oh dear. Now, the fairies cast a magic spell over the whole kingdom so that everybody would fall asleep for 100 years as well. <gasps> Prince Philip heard about the magic spell and about poor Aurora and decided to ride his horse to rescue her. Off he went. <gasps> but Maleficent had made huge thorn trees grow all around the castle. He had to battle through until he reached Aurora, who was up in the highest tower of the castle. He woke up with true love's first kiss. And everybody woke up. <gasps> Hooray! Aurora was saved and so was the Magic Kingdom. Everybody had a lovely party. Shall we have a party, boys and girls? I wonder... Maybe we could find something to dance with. I bought my lovely scarves, but maybe you've got something like this at home too. Perhaps a tea towel. Perhaps one of your grown-ups has got a scarf you could borrow. Shall we do some beautiful dancing? Are you ready? Let's stand up. Welcome back boys and girls, did you find something to dance with? Shall we do some beautiful dancing and celebrate with all the people in Aurora's Magic Kingdom? Shall we cradle our 
lovely ballet class. Now there's just time for us to do one more thing before we go. We're going to do our beautiful curtsy. Hold your skirts, are you ready? We point our toe to the side, we step 